Hi everyone, Pastor Chris Carlson here from Westfield Presbyterian Church in Western Pennsylvania, beginning a new series of devotions based on my sermon from this past Sunday, July 5th, Independence Day weekend, and my sermon uh, is called For God and Country, and I hope that will become clear why I called it that um, as we go along. In my career as a pastor, I have often been asked, is it okay for Christians to be patriotic? Uh, and I understand the question. As Christians, we are called to have the highest loyalty to God above everything else, including our country. And sometimes Christians get that mixed up. Sometimes we confuse our country with our uh, loyalty to our country to loyalty with God. Uh, and it must be God first. Um, to answer that question, uh, and I think people have to take me with a little bit of grain of a little grain of salt, is uh, I was a chaplain in the United States Army for 27 years, so I would say, of course, it's okay for Christians to be patriotic. Uh, I believe one of the best things I've ever done in my life uh, is to be a part of the Army. Um, I'm glad I did it. I would do it again. It was a privilege to serve uh, in that way. And again, I'm very glad I did it. But what I love about the Army is the slogan that's in it. Uh, in the, excuse me, the Army Chaplain Corps. And it's pro Dio et patria. The phrase, the slogan, or the, the creed of the Army Chaplain Corps is pro Dio et patria, which means for God and country. God is always first. Uh, the first commandment is operative still. You shall have no other gods before me. Uh, and in the Army Chaplain Corps, that is uh, very much the way it is and should be, that God is first and country is second. One of the great theologians of, our, uh, of the Christian church was Augustine. And he lived in the 4th and 5th century uh, AD uh, in Rome. And Rome was not particularly friendly to Christians at that time. It was a hard place to be. But here's what he said. Uh, he said, Christians are called to be patriotic in the best sense of the word. He said, God calls Christians to be patriots in the best sense of the word. They are to love their nations, not because they have to, nor out of allegiance to a particular politician or ruler, but because they, are, they love their king and his kingdom more than their own nation. And because uh, our king, Jesus himself, commands us to love our neighbors and promote justice and compassion in the land. Hear that? We are to be patriotic, to work for the good of our nation that we live in, wherever we are, uh, because King Jesus, our highest king, to whom we owe highest loyalty, commands it to be to love justice and promote justice in the land and to help the land where we are. Uh, I use the example of a family. Uh, we are part of a family and I would say all of us can say that most of our, our families are not always good. And yet we try to work for the good of our families uh, because we're a part of it. And our nation is kind of like our family. We're called to be patriotic for it. That is to work for its good, to work for its peace, uh, to work uh, to make it better uh, as best we can. So we aren't allowed to sit on our hands. So it's okay to salute the flag. It's okay to sing the patriotic songs. It's okay to serve in the army. It's okay, or any of the military. It's okay to be a politician, even, um, as many jokes as we make about that, to work for the good of our country. Uh, I believe it's just fine to be patriotic, and we're called to do so, with God's help, and in the, in the knowledge that God is our King. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.